Hello everyone, I am Vikram P. Maduri here. Welcome to JH Softec. And in this session, uh, we are going to discuss an, a project related to SAP S4 HANA BAP. And uh, this is mostly uh, these projects which I am initially doing it are all uh, similar to what we do in uh, ECC uh, HANA on ECC server. So they are similar to it and uh, a later point of time we'll get to those topics in which we have uh, only unique uh, things that have been introduced into SAP S4 HANA which were not there in the ECC system. So this uh, in project uh, it's uh, it's something which we can do in ECC server as well. So if it all you can also practice this in ECC server as well as in SAP S4 HANA uh, uh, server. So my main intention here would be to uh, you know, do all the projects on SAP S4 HANA platform. So in this uh, ABAP real-time project, we are going to discuss uh, a, a creation of a, a database view. So as we already know, we as we discussed in the in the in the in the theoretical classes and uh, in the sessions that we are online having it and classroom classes as well that uh, you know data there will be four different types of views database views application. Uh, database views and then we have the maintenance views help views and projection view projection view is a subset of a, a particular table so now uh, we're going to discuss a uh, creation of a database view using uh, two tables and then later also with three tables as well so i'm going to take uh, you know sales tables i'll take uh, vbak and vbap initially uh, and whenever whenever we take two particular tables uh, and would like to join them together to view the data it's mandatory for us to have a common field uh, between them so the common field between the VBA and VBAP table uh, is VBELN so VBELN stands as a common field between the both the tables and that's what we are taking that as a uh, as a joining uh, uh, I mean like the, the common field to link both the tables and then we'll go ahead with the uh, creation of uh, you know a, a database view with three tables that is VBAK, VBAP and VB, and MARA. So when we are doing the VBAK and MARA, VBAK and VBAP, the common field is VBL and VBAP and MARA, the common field is MATNR. So that's what uh, we're going to do in this uh, session. So let's move on and uh, start doing this uh, project on the system. Initially, we'll create a table, uh, create a view with the two tables that is VBAK, VBAP. The common field here would be VBELN, uh, which joins these two data. And later in the second uh, database view that we'll create, we'll combine all the three tables uh, for which we need to have a common field between the second and third table that the, the common field is MATNR here. So let's uh, get into the system and uh, start doing this. So let me first show you the table. So VBAK. There's a table which has, you know, uh, fields which are related to the uh, sales document header data in which VBL is the field that is uh, the, the primary field. And then we have the VBAP. VBAP, we have a couple of other fields. These are the things that we have. So we are going to create a, a view. I'll create it as ZJH underscore sales. ZJH underscore sales. Create database view. Continue. And I'll write here JH soft tech sales data. Now here I'm going to you know uh, uh, introduce those tables. So VBAK and VBAP. So these are the two tables that we have here, and I I've just typed them manually. And the condition here I'm going to keep is VBAK VBLN should be equal to VBAP VBLN. And that's it. So we'll go to the view fields, get into the tables. VBAK is a table in which we'll create, uh, we'll, we'll take up VBLN, ERDAT, and ERNA, ERNAM. And then the table fields from VBAP will take POSNR, MATNR, MATW. You're not supposed to take the same field again. It will throw an error. I, I, I mean, what I mean to say is like uh, VBELN has already been taken from the VBAK table. So you can't take it from VBAP table. So select this and then click on save. Okay, we already have a package, so it's of tick. Save it. Own request. Say okay. Now, once it's been done, you just need to activate it. Control F3 works here. You say okay. Now, once it's been done, yes. You can ignore this particular uh, 
uh, you know client dependency kind of thing as of now uh, you can you can introduce mandt that client dependency warning will 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 go away okay so what did we do we just had this uh, table conditions in the table conditions we we wrote two tables vbak vbap and we are writing the join condition here vbak vbln should be equal to vbap vbln and we went into the view fields in which we have introduced three fields from vbak table three fields from vbap table and we 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 have activated this particular uh, uh, um, view and then once it's been done you can just go ahead and uh, uh, you know uh, check the data here so if uh, we have not entered even a single record of data so let's see how many records of data is uh, actually there in the view in, in fact it's not there in the view it extracts the data uh, dynamically from the you know uh, dynamically from the database tables in runtime so i have clicked on the contents so uh, you know we'll just have to you know uh, i'll just execute it and we, we are getting a lot of records here. So these are the records that we already have in VBAK, VBAP tables. So this is not something which we are created just now. It's like it's there. You can also click on number of entries and see there are 32,245 uh, records have been you know uh, extracted from these tables in the runtime. So view doesn't store any data in any time. It's, it just access the data from the database table and shows it to you. That's it. So uh, this is a simple uh, view that we have created for two tables. Let's create with two, three tables. Um, and then we'll go, we'll go ahead with zjh underscore sales to create this. This would be a database view again. This, the, the, this is a view sales related material data. Now we'll take VBAK as the first table. VBAP is the second table and mara is a third table and we will discuss vbak vbln equal to vbap vbln and then we have vbap matnr equal to mara matnr and uh, save it so save it again okay so here what are we doing here is like we are we are taking the common field between the first and second table and then we are going ahead and uh, taking up a common field between the second and third table without which we cannot join the data from the three tables this is a mandatory step that we have to take up so in the view fields go for the table fields vbak so i will take mandt as well in this so er name so i have taken three four fields from the first table pbap i'll take, just take posnr and matnr just two two fields here and two more fields i'll take it up from the uh, mara table so this is for just for our example you can take uh, n number of records uh, from the each particular table so i'll go for M matkl and i'll go from mtart so copy and then save it activated so once we activate it uh, it will be like uh, we'll be able to see this data here so warnings might be for the enhancement category so we can just yeah so we'll come back now here once it's been active go to the more utilities and then we have the contents so in the contents you can see that number of entries would be somewhere in 32,000 again so when we execute it we get this first the client number and then we have this you know sales document number created on created by these three these four records have been extracted from VBAK table and item and material these two have come from VBAP table and material type and material group these two are extracted from the uh, mara table so this is what we have here so once it's been done this completes the creation of uh, uh, creation of a, a, a view uh, making use of two tables and uh, yeah, making use of three tables so this is what we have here in this particular scenario now we have successfully created uh, two views and uh, what I'll do is I'll write a simple program, a basic simple program in which we are going to have the sales report data. 
so which consumes this particular uh, uh, this particular view which we have created just now sales data report and then this will go for executable program save So here we will consider the view as a particular table. So I'll write something like tables. The step is not necessary actually here. So JH underscore sales to. I'll just like uh, browse from here and uh, make sure it's going to the view. Yes, it is going into the view. So this is right. And then uh, we'd be creating a it underscore sale type standard table of st underscore sale this is an internal table wa underscore sale type st underscore sale so these are uh, the uh, you know internal table and uh, work area declarations internal table and work area declarations so we have vbln for vbak or you can say zjh underscore sales to hyphen vbln and select star from zjh underscore sales to into table it underscore sale so i'm using select star because we have very less number of fields in uh, uh, in your uh, in this uh, view so we can't use uh, we should not use uh, select star for a table directly because in table have hundreds of fields and it will it will affect the performance okay so now into table it underscore sale where vbln in s underscore vbln okay, this is a select statement loop at it underscore sale into w underscore sale and loop here i'm writing the write statement w underscore sale hyphen vbln w underscore sale hyphen erdat these are the fields we have taken from there sale hyphen er in am w underscore sale hyphen pusnr w underscore sale hyphen matnr w underscore sale hyphen matkl w underscore sale hyphen mtrt let me cross check if the fields are the same MTAT and MTKL, so right, fine. So these are the fields that we have in the um, view, and make sure all the fields that we are uh, taking at uh, writing up here are already existing in this particular view. Otherwise, the system will throw an error. So let's uh, do the syntax check. St okay so i i i'd like I, I should be giving here zjh underscore sales to i'm giving the reference from zjh underscore sales to okay i'll put this w w underscore This you can ignore activate so execute so I'm not giving any fields here because I'm not sure what, what are the inputs that we have here so I'll click on directly execute we should be getting this data okay so 19146 so I'll go back I'll give something like one nine 
one two three